Buffalo Bills improve to 2-0 and on Monday night football against what we thought was an arch rival in the Tennessee Titans, a team who had had the Bills number the last couple of seasons, a great game last year in Tennessee on a Monday night as well. Josh Allen slips, falls, the Bills lose by a field goal. And uh, the year prior, Bills just flat out got their ass kicked at home in a COVID game, no fans. And, uh, you know, it really felt like going into this one, it was part of that revenge tour, right? The whole season, there's different elements within each game that you look at. Obviously, the Chiefs, of course, in a few weeks will be one of those games. The Steelers in a couple of weeks. Hell, this coming week in Miami, the way their fans are acting, every game we can find something to, you know, extract from as fans, as a team, in the bills in order to get extra motivation. This one though, it was just, you know, it was, they wrote itself. The bills lose the last two to these guys. They were the number one seed in the AFC last year, even though it never felt like they were truly the best team in the AFC. And you go into this game on a national stage like you do last week, and you look to once again prove to the world that the Bills and the expectations set out for them this coming season are legitimate and, you know, deserved. You have to wonder now, the Tuesday after this game, you have to wonder the week following the Rams game, were the expectations too low? The Bills were supposed to be the Super Bowl favorite. The Bills were supposed to be perhaps the best team in the league. I don't think anybody could have anticipated what we have seen over the last two weeks. I mean, this is, it it is absolutely insane, absurd. I don't even know how to put it into words what we're witnessing. The Bills have now beaten the reigning Super Bowl champions and the former number one seed in the AFC by a combined score of 72 to 17. It's not like they're taking the Jets to the woodshed. It's not like they're taking the Jaguars behind the the shed out to the woods. I mean, we're talking about the class of the league here. So, uh, So you thought. We're talking about the team who hosted the Lombardi a couple of months ago. A team in Tennessee who beats the Bills the last two outings and gets the number one seed in the AFC last year. I don't know if we've seen anything quite like the way the Bills have started these first two games of the season. We've seen teams dominate. We've seen teams come out of the gates high. I don't think we've ever seen anything quite like this. And last night, just when you thought the Bills couldn't beat up on a team worse than they did the Rams, last night was even worse. And it was against a team that has gotten the better of the Bills the last two outings. 